Good morning. Welcome to our time together this morning. Who needs Jesus? Well, let's read about it in Mark 2, 14 to 17, and I think we'll find out. Here's what it says. Then he went out again by the sea, and all the multitude came to him, and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax office. And he said to him, Follow me. So he arose and followed him. Now it happened as he was dining in Levi's house that many tax collectors and sinners also sat together with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many, and they, and they followed him. And when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eating with the tax collectors and sinners, they said to his disciples, How is it that he eats and drinks with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Who needs Jesus? Well, look, here is the tax collectors. Levi brings them all together, Matthew, Levi, and they follow Jesus. I mean, this is terrible, say the Pharisees, but it's actually wonderful. It's actually wonderful. God wants uh, to get a hearing. He wants you to think about it. He wants you to accept his plans for you. And apparently there were some people who were very uh, receptive. But Jesus had to go in. The Pharisees said, oh, don't go in there. We wouldn't, we wouldn't mix with those people. But indeed, that was, that was the right thing. Jesus did it. So who is it that needs Jesus? Well, the problem is if you don't see your need, then you've really got a problem because you have to see your need to know how much you need Jesus. And so if Jesus is your doctor, uh, what could possibly go wrong? Well, let's pray now and pray for our own, that we'll see our own need for Jesus. Dear Father in heaven, we look at ourselves and we compare ourselves with other people, compare ourselves with uh, the best and the brightest in our culture, and we say, you know, I look okay. But actually, uh, we are desperately uh, poor in every way, Lord, especially morally. We need Jesus. I need Jesus. And the thought of each of us as we uh, begin this day should be how much we need Jesus, not how glad Jesus should be that we decided maybe that we would be a Christian. Not at all. Lord, uh, we are sinners and we are the unrighteous and we know we need Jesus. So thank you for the gift of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that we can see. And if some are listening who cannot see any need for Jesus, help them to come along a pathway and see their need. The Pharisees couldn't see it too well. So that's not the group, that's not the company I hope that any of us are in. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God be with you today and show you the pathway he has for you. If Jesus is your doctor, what would you have him do for you? Because he'd like to be your physician.